I want people to know that she was a loving person. I wanted people to know that she was really funny. I wanted people to know that that she was she was one of the sweetest people ever. And you could always count on her for anything. If you couldn't count on nobody else, you could count on me on her. We always talked, we always, whenever we seen each other, we always tell each other we love each other. And um, we always just been basically pre-K best friends. A friend like this, when something like this happens and it's so close hit home, it's kind of unbelievable. It has been a very somber two weeks for the entire community and has unfortunately come to a tragic end. The body of 16-year-old Mayana Jones was discovered earlier in Pender County. 16-year-old Mayana Jones was last seen on November the 1st, 2022 in the 1100 block of South 7th Street in Wilmington, North Carolina. She was last seen wearing a red turtleneck, blue jeans, and black shoes. Her mother was worried and reported her missing to the police. This was a panicked, stress-filled time for Mayana's mom. When she most needed support from the police, she did not feel it, so she made a Facebook post seeking help from anyone. She described the lack of support and communication she felt from the officers that she made the report to. My name is Maya Sellers, and my 16-year-old daughter, Mayana Jones, was reported missing November the 1st, 2022. It took almost three hours to get an officer to show up to make a report. Even once they got to me and my family, they seemed to not take the matter seriously, even after being face-to-face -face with the last person who at that time last seen her alive and well. After the report, I called them to get any feedback and or updates, but the officers never returned my phone call. I went to the Wilmington Police Department in person to demand an update and was told my calls were shown to be unanswered or left opened and the two officers that were in contact with me just left for the day after seeing that I had been calling before their department end of shift. I haven't seen a bolo or Amber alert for her and was not given information as to how to see this and keep up with the process. I have been surfing the web all night trying to see if she has been posted in any of these databases, but came up with nothing. Please help. Welcome to Backstreet Crime and News. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll be notified of new videos. The Victim. Myona Jones was 16 years old. Her nickname was Mimi. She was described by friends as funny, kind, sweet, loving, and dependable. You could count on her for anything. She was the leader that brought people together. Jerice Jones, 25 years old, was Mayana's half-brother. Currently in jail for an unrelated charge of kidnapping and rape of another person. Mayana Jones went missing on November the 1st, 2022. She was last seen in Wilmington. The police suspected foul play. On November 17th, her body was found in nearby Pender County after an extensive search. The police chief and the district attorney held a press conference. The district attorney said, in the entire time I've been in this office, I have never seen a more extensive investigation to try and bring a child home that I have been personally witnessing over the last two weeks. This is not the homecoming any of us wanted. Almost one week after the team vanished, officials announced there was a suspect of interest who police say is now charged in her disappearance but did not reveal the exact charges. Chief Williams said police searched the new Hanover County landfill for Myona Jones for the last two weeks with the help of multiple agencies that included New Hanover County Sheriff's Office, the FBI, landfill staff, Brunswick Search Rescue, Pender County Sheriff's Office, Wilmington Fire, and the Cube Center for Missing Persons. The district attorney said they have been in constant contact with Myona Jones's family throughout the investigation. According to the district attorney's office, Jerice Jones, Myana's half-brother, was reported to allegedly have had a minor in his car who is now missing. They would not give any details or say why they searched the landfill. Yeah. I 
Judy McKnight, 61 years old, has been charged with obstruction of justice in this case. Arrest warrants show she lied to police while they were looking for Mayana's body. She is the grandmother of Jerese Jones and founder of Moms in Mourning, a group that helps mothers who have lost children to violence and illness. McKnight posted a $100,000 bond and was ordered not to contact the other suspects in the case. When Judy McKnight exited the courtroom after her hearing, she was confronted by several people outside the door and they had a shouting match. The deputies had to pull Judy McKnight back into the room and had to restrain some of the others. Randy Johnson was charged with obstructing justice on November the 5th. She is the 27-year-old girlfriend of Jerese Jones. She also allegedly lied to the police. Jerese Jones was charged with first-degree murder, first-degree rape of Mayanna Jones, and a felony count of incest. He could face the death penalty. He is currently under a $1,275,000 bond and will have a hearing if he posts the bond. Jones has been in custody since November the 2nd on unrelated charges of kidnapping and rape of another person and is scheduled to appear in court on December the 12th for that case. Jones asked for a court-appointed lawyer. Mayana Jones attended New Handover High School. A group of students and teachers set up a memorial in front of the school. Several students and staff members wore red one day to honor Mayana since red was her favorite color. They decorated her chair in the classroom. My sincere condolences go out to Mayana's family, friends, and loved ones. Thank you for supporting the Backstreet Crime and News channel by watching these videos. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave us a comment below, share this video with your friends, and please subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.